Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing in this park, which is a park in the old moat of the fort at Oradea. It's a big star-shaped fort. Now they've created this park here in the moat. As I pan the camera around, you can see some of the old walls of the fort. And as you can see, they've also created a bit of a pond here, I think, to show you that this was a moat. Now, over there, you can see one of the gates to the fort. I'm going to take you in there. There's this bank of earth, which looks, going by this hole here, was once perhaps a viaduct across the fort or across the moat to the fort rather so that looks like it's an old viaduct so whether there's a few arches in this bank that are buried i'm not entirely sure but i'm going to walk up here so the park is behind me and as we come up to the road that takes you into the fort we get up this slope here so this is now the road which i said possibly was a viaduct into the fort you can see on the other side they've also created a similar park so it's quite a nice thing to do with what, as you can see, is a very large, wide moat. And this, so this is actually a star shape, the whole fort. So if you imagine, that's one point on the star there. And then over there would be another point. And then there's obviously three more points. It's a five point star shape. And then inside the castle, well, we'll have a look in a minute. You've kind of got an inner fort which is a hexagonal shape. So down there, there's a bit more water in the moat. So it's quite a pleasant park they've created. It's quite quiet at the moment. Not many people about being win winter. It's, it's spitting a bit. It's almost like it's trying to turn to sleep, which it's possible it might do in the next few hours. So, so that's where we started, just down there. So you can see the bit of the pond and you can see the very thick walls these are obviously here to really you know guard against an attack but unfortunately i haven't had a chance to find too much about the castle so apologies i'm not sure who was built who built it there's um there's quite a lot of interpretation but it's all in romanian some of it's in hungarian and i can speak some hungarian so i've picked out a few words but i can't quite pick out enough to understand exactly who the castle was built for or why, but I get the impression it was to defend the city, possibly when the city was in Austria-Hungary, because if you go in that direction from here, it, it, it all becomes mountains. You go the other direction, you come to the Great Plain of Hungary, the Hungarian border, only being about five miles away from here. So um, I'm getting the impression it was kind of here to either a huge castle to defend either the, the Hungarian Great Plain of Hungary or possibly the mountains. So as we come in, we're in, I suppose you'd call this the outer bailey. You go through that arch there, and that's the inner bailey. So this is the main Catholic church of the castle. Um, I've, I've noticed there's quite a few museums, but none of them appear to be open, probably because it's a Sunday. And um, there would be quite a lot of other stuff to see, but unfortunately today we're not going to see too much of it so I just thought I'd show you the main parts of the fort it's a bit it's all a bit bizarre because up on the walls there you wouldn't really it sort of looks all just like waste ground but this is all the walls I'm getting the impression that they are in the process of restoring the whole site but probably time and money is meaning it's going to take quite a while so what you've got over there that's a hotel so this is a catholic church and uh, we'll go and have a look inside is my plan so um yeah it's very interesting if you if you come to oradea definitely come and have a look it's one of the main things to see in the city and oradea is really quite a pleasant city it's um it's called nojvarod in hungarian and approximately a third of the people who live here are ethnic hungarians being so close to the hungarian border so i'm going to take you through through this archway here it's quite echoey in here now, I'll take my hat off because I'm going to go into the church. So we go through, through these lovely big wooden doors. This is very Austro-Hungarian looking to me. So we're going in here now. There's no one else in here. So this is, we can't actually go any further. This is what they tend to do in Hungary with churches. They have them so you can go in, but not all the way in. Which in a way isn't a bad thing because it means you can see, they don't have to lock the church, they don't have to worry about people going in too far so if you have a look here 
put my camera through. You see, they've, um, they've still got their Christmas trees up because it wasn't Christmas that long ago. There's some stairs there. It probably goes up to the tower. I'd love to go up there. Um, so it's interesting if you look all of the all of this, this is all in Hungarian. So um, this is I'm getting the impression that most of the Catholics in this city are the Hungarians and the Orthodox or the Romanians, but I may be wrong. So there you go, you can see most of the church. I'm gonna take you back out of the church now and I'm just gonna show you the rest of the fort and I'm gonna take you through to the um, main city. So this is the, the rather large inner bailey. It's a hexagonal shape. And then the church is behind me. That's where we've just been in, that, the Catholic church. So I'm gonna walk through over here. I'm gonna walk through. This will take us back out the front and back into the direction of the city centre. One thing I'll show you before we go out, and again, I don't know too much, but I had noticed as I walked through here earlier on, there's this, you probably can pay to go in here, but I don't think it's open today, is um, there's some ruins inside. I don't know if you can see that particularly well. Maybe we can figure around the corner. So there's obviously some foundation walls that are there for everyone to see. Um, let's see if I can see through this window. That's better. See through there. So I'll be, I'll have to come back one day and go and have a look around there. So I'm going to take you back out here. We'll go back out to the outer bailey. There's a suit of armour. Suit of armour there. Through this little archway. So as we come back out to the other end of the outer bailey, there's um, that goes over there. We'll take you out. You can see this building here. That's an Orthodox church. It's, it's actually quite new. In fact, I went inside and it wasn't it finished inside. Um, what I'll do, I, I, I don't want to go in there filming, but I'll, I took some pictures, so I'll post them afterwards for you to see. So if you watch the video, about half an hour after the video, some pictures of inside will go. Now we'll, we'll be online. I'm going to go and have a look over here. I'm not sure what I'm going to find, but it's, it looks quite interesting. So we're going into one of the points on the stars. Now, what is it? Let's see. Um, well, I walked through the castle earlier. I didn't come to this bit, so... It looks as though they've created a theatre here, which is quite a nice idea. In fact, this might take us up onto the walls. There's lots of there's some more ruins down there. So this is, yeah, it looks to be a, an amphitheatre. So well, there's a bit of ruin down there. I'm going to go up to the top and have a look. So I'm taking you up through this theatre now. And um, we'll have a look at the view over the walls. So coming up, up here. And we're now on the wall above the castle. So looking out over there is the Orthodox Church, which I said I'll post some pictures of. It's got some more modern flats. All those cars down there, they're actually parked in the moat as well. So the moat, as I said, it goes all round. I'm going to now go up to this corner here where we can see the view. So from here, we've got a view of the whole castle. You can see the park, the other end of the park down there. And then these modern flats are actually built into the walls. You can see bits of wall down there, so they're, they're sort of built onto the moat. So, hope you enjoyed this video from 
for thought in our idea. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.